In 2022, the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID, released a report about the illegal wild animal trade and counter-trafficking in Southeast Asia. The review primarily focuses on Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam, and explores how these countries work together against wild animal crimes, how COVID-19 impacted counter-trafficking, and how the situation has evolved over the last five years. According to the report, there seems to be widespread support against the illegal trade. However, the overall political and economic situation in Southeast Asia has worsened. In the wake of COVID-19, there was an opportunity to promote a One Health framework linking animal welfare with human and environmental health. Many Southeast Asian countries were concerned about zoonotic diseases, so advocates had a chance to show how protecting biodiversity is critical for preventing future zoonoses. However, the opportunity to push this narrative is starting to fade. Facing financial losses and increased poverty, many countries are now prioritizing economic recovery. There are also notable political weaknesses in counter-trafficking. Some Southeast Asian countries lack the governance and the ability to enforce and prosecute wildlife crimes. The report also argues that some governments display a lack of transparency and accountability, and since 2017, some countries have shifted from democratic to more authoritative regimes. One positive highlight has been China and Vietnam's national bans on wild animal trafficking and wild meat consumption. Still, China shows the biggest demand for wild animal products in the region. What's more, China's government is unpredictable and has a lot of influence on Southeast Asia. While border shutdowns happened during COVID-19, trade shifted online. Online markets have grown because of the pandemic, making it more difficult to track and enforce anti-trafficking laws. The Philippines, Thailand, and parts of Malaysia have cybercrime investigative units, but they need strengthening. China uses machine learning to address digital crimes, and similar strategies may benefit enforcement in other countries. The report concludes that future anti-trafficking efforts must emphasize collaboration, with Thailand as the regional role model due to its exceptional efforts. Because many Southeast Asian countries are focusing on economic recovery, campaigns should align with these priorities. Advocates can help locals shift away from trafficking with other forms of employment, like humane tourism. Social media campaigns and public service announcements can also reduce the demand for wild animal products. Now is the time to increase international cooperation, resource sharing, and science-driven insights to end the trafficking of wild animals in Southeast Asia and beyond.